Good afternoon, uh, REI Facebook group, nation group on this afternoon. Welcome to our live call with, uh, I'm going to introduce our special guest here in just a second. That's uh, a new home buyer with us. And we're going to listen to her story and hear a little bit about uh, how we all came together at REI and her. And uh, let me introduce you to Alex. Um, help me, Alex. Alexis, <laughs> excuse me. Alexis, let me say this. It's Alexis Manugian. Alexis Manugian from San Jose, California, via Scotland, maybe, huh? There's a, there was a bit, I lived in Scotland for 10 years, yeah. Okay, yes, <laughs> I, I could tell that accent. So we're going to hear from uh, Alexis in just a minute. But let me talk a little bit about uh, a couple of things so that uh, our group here, we're just finishing the month of October, as you guys, most of you know. Uh, some of the numbers, we ended up uh, renting 143 houses in all seven cities this month for our, our investors. Uh, we uh, renewed another 213 renewals uh, for our customers this month, or the end in October, which prevented 213 move outs. So we got 213 houses renewed with uh, new leases, most of those two years, most of them with a bump in, uh, in the rent. So we got that completed this month. We've done a little over 600 rehabs so far this year. We bought another uh, 80 properties this past month. And so we continue to uh, uh, come back from pre-COVID. We've just about recovered everything that uh, happened during in our rentals and our collections was still really, really strong for this month. And Chris may come on and uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day and give you more update, detailed uh, accountability on collections and lates. Um, our cities, as you guys know of, we're still in seven cities, Houston and San Antonio, we're rolling there. Uh, of course, Dallas, Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Little Rock, St. Louis, and Memphis. Uh, again, we have several houses uh, under contract in San Antonio. We put out a little uh, note a couple of weeks ago about anybody who would be interested in the first San Antonio house, and I think we had 10 or 15 people. So that's going to be coming pretty quick. Uh, and then we're in the process of getting everything lined up to uh, go into Alabama the first of the year. And that's a, that's going to be a big step for us. And we have a lot of opportunity over there, a lot of cities. A lot of our clients want us to come to Alabama. They've been talking to us about it for a long, long time. And then we're considering maybe uh, dropping down to Jackson, Mississippi and uh, picking off a few houses in, in that market, which uh, some of our investors have talked to us about. So it's an exciting time for us as we uh, do more houses and continue to do the uh, uh, the business that we do of buying and selling houses. Other thing I wanted to mention is our property management as we uh, roll out, rolling into new city or rolling into uh, the existing cities that we're in, but taking on new clients. An example, if you're a client of ours and you have two properties in Dallas with us and two with somebody else that you bought them, We'll now take those and manage those for you if you'd like us to do that. Now we've been rolling out this for the last two or three weeks and currently we have about 60, 70 houses that we're considering bringing in already. So it's a, uh, it's been a big deal for us already. And uh, again, if you're in a city that we're in and you have properties that are being managed by somebody else and you consider us for the opportunity to manage that, if we're worthy of that opportunity, which hopefully we are, uh, we're very proud of our property management company. We think they do a great job. We'd certainly like you to consider us and uh, uh, we'll move forward with uh, looking to see if it's a good fit for us and you and managing those properties. So there's a lot more to come on that here in the coming months as we uh, uh, roll this out on, on, on bringing in more properties. Today, we're right about 6,300 properties. Uh, we're getting close to 900 million that we manage in properties. Um, we'll be at that billion dollar mark sometime next year. So uh, again, I just want to give you a few of the few of the uh, facts, a little lay of the land here before we get in, and we'll uh, we're going to jump in here and uh, talk to Alexis. And uh, so, Alexis, hey. you, got, you got your first house. You got yep. your another house under contract. Yeah. So tell us how uh, REI and you and your husband, Sam, came together. Um, well, we started looking into real estate. We've been thinking about it on and off for years in various countries that we've lived in. Um, 
And then we been on bigger pockets and we sort of kept seeing Memphis Invest pop up as a name and then REI Nation. And um, honestly, it was kind of all the other customers that sold you to us. <laughs> and then we had that moment where we're like, well, we can't go with the first people we've seen. We have to keep digging around at other people. And um, but honestly, yeah, the feedback from everybody else was just so positive on REI Nation that we sort of went further. And I think I came onto the Facebook group and had a look and saw stories on there and um, spoke to Taz initially. And he was great. And um, I was a bit nervous because on, on the website, it was kind of like, you know, book a call. And I was like, oh, I can't, I can't be doing sales calls. No, <laughs> but he was just so friendly. And he just kind of, I felt like he listened to what I was saying and um, was just like, yeah, well, here are my details. I'm ready when you are. Um, and that was great. I didn't, there was no pressure. <laughs> Yeah, well, we don't want ever. I mean, clients, prospective clients come to us and we have a, a group of people that set them up and then they go to our portfolio advisors to help them select the property and see if it'll all work. So Taz got you all set up and then you went to how long did it take for the process with Taz? How long did you and him talk before he moved you to uh, David Meeks? Um, I spoke to him initially in advance just to say, this is where we're at we're looking at it we're not ready to talk to you yet and he said yep yeah, that's fine and then it was like a couple of weeks maybe even a month later that i said okay can we have a chat now and we spoke to him just over maybe like a couple of weeks um just a couple of calls it was it felt very much like it was whatever we needed um so you know he sent us some information he chatted to us a couple of times told us the process made sure that we understood you know and our sort of paths matched um and then passed on to david so how was how would how has David been to work with? Alexis, can you hear me? He's been great. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, we lost. We had a little uh, little black out there for a second. So, David, how's David been to work with? He's been absolutely great. Yeah, we had um, a couple of calls with him, sort of the first property round, and um, just sort of going through what kind of properties we were looking for, if there was particular markets we were looking for, and then. You know, he sent us some example ones, you know, kind of like backwards and forwards. And then it just feels like he just got the gist of what we wanted. Right. And um, we were quite open with areas um, just because we're in California. So it's all out of state to us. So it honestly, it doesn't make much difference. <laughs> do you own any houses in any other markets or do any other investing with any other companies? Uh, we have our own house and then we moved well, first we moved to germany and then we moved to the states so we rent in california and yeah. we own our home in the uk but we don't have any other investments you don't have any other rental or investment properties okay no. um so then david helped you select your property i think your first property is in little rock right yep little rock and that one's that one's bought and closed and you haven't seen the property right not seen it at all um, you seen, you've seen the pictures and everything on it. Pictures, yeah. uh, we, we had a home inspection and we got some more pictures. Um, yeah, but we, yeah, we've not seen it. I don't fully know where this rock is. Do you think that do you think it's unusual that you haven't seen your house? Um, yes and no. It's like I would have thought it was unusual, but it seems to be kind of standard. And um, for the customers for REI Nation. It, it just seems to be the way we do it. And I like, we know it, where it is. We can go visit it. it is, and I, I think I can tell you that over 60% of our customers that own houses with it, we have 2,200 clients, roughly, right at 2,200 that own the 6,300 properties. And probably maybe only 30 or 40% of those folks have ever seen their house. All right. Mm -hmm. We've had people come in to come into Memphis or Dallas and to come to our offices and they still don't go see their houses. Okay. So, um, so we're, we take it real personal about your experience with us and how we treat you and how we take care of your property. Our reputation, credibility, and integrity is the most important thing to us and taking care of your property. We have investors all over the world in every state of, of our country and then probably six or seven other countries. And we have an investor, we have a large group of people in Hawaii that probably own, maybe a couple hundred houses with us and they've never seen their houses and they go to bed at night. They don't have to worry about it. We got it. We take care of it. And then once David 
engages with you and gets you to the house and then understand that you have another house now under contract. Yeah. Where is that where is that one at? Memphis. It is Memphis. <laughs> I Memphis. couldn't remember. Memphis. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So how, how are we doing on that process of getting you to close on that one? Are we is are all the wheels turning to help it, you on that? Turns. We have um Mallory is our closing coordinator and she does a great job of and um of keeping checked in with us and arranging inspections and the various things we see being newbies we tend to go for everything <laughs> oh, that's exactly. so, but we've even started to taper down on the things on the extras um and yeah it's just been great i mean we closed earlier than anticipated on the little rock house yeah. and then we weren't expecting to purchase another one straight away but um david just sent us a couple and we were looking we we're like when this one came up the figures were great we just went it was so easy. <laughs> Let's just do it. Are you um, guys using uh, financing on your houses? Yes, yes. We have financing. Um, Taz set us up with a couple of people um, yep. to speak to, and we went with one of them. And then this time around, we've just gone back to that same same person. And again, Perfect. they seem absolutely great. They have an existing relationship with REO Nation, so that's helpful. They Everyone just seems to – things just kind of happen around us, and we just sign. <laughs> so <laughs> – so we, uh, David got you the house and then we got it back there with Mallory to get it closed for you. Then it goes to, uh, goes down to our customer service department. We have seven ladies that work in client relations and you have Jill. How is Jill doing for you and how has her communication been with you? Jill's been great. She, um, initially she set us up with the portal and, um, and all that through and then we had a call like straight away after we had enough time to just have our own little nosy round and then um yep she called and went through the portal any questions that we have and at the moment we're on weekly calls she calls me every friday and i get my coffee <laughs> we have a little chat um and um she's also aware of the next one that's coming her way as well because actually we haven't closed on it yet but the tenant moved in on saturday already so um so she's keeping you in the loop on everything, huh? Yeah. I, I think you'll see, and again, if down the road you ever uh, refer us to anybody, that our client services is what really sets us apart because, again, Jill's going to talk to you every week on your first house for the first month, and then she's going to call you every month and bring you up to date on the house. She's going to tell you about the rent. She's going to tell you maybe if you have a maintenance call or there your checks in the mail or whatever it is, just seeing if you have any questions, giving you a good – uh, feeling about that we're, we got this under control, everything is fine. A lot of people, when they buy their first house, they're somewhat nervous, don't know really what's going to happen. And we try to take all that anxiety out of it, all right? Just, we got this, come and see us anytime. We're what, welcome to come in here and we'll take you to your houses or we'll go with you to the houses. But uh, Jill, will, Jill will walk you all the way through, whether you buy one or two or five or whatever, whatever you buy, one of those ladies down there will help you and take you all the way through the process. So has that been good from our client services, our, our client yeah, relations it, department so far? Great. I mean, we, we had kind of slight more nerves maybe because obviously we've not actually bought a house in the States. <laughs> so we like the terminology is a bit different and things like that have been a bit different. So it's just, you know, even for us, we just kind of needed like a glossary <laughs> because, you know, we're talking sometimes at cross purposes but it's been great everyone's been so patient with us as we figured it out as we're going oh you mean that <laughs> um which has worked great and then jill's been absolutely great i feel like on a friday we have a little chat and she gives me a little lesson in some new topic so that i don't feel like it's all coming at me at once because for a lot of things you don't necessarily need to know until it's happening so you don't want well, to be reading a book and that's good those ladies have been down there they've been with our company for a long time they have a lot of clients like yourself that they talk to. So let me ask you a question. When you came, when you uh, were checking us out, so to speak, did you actually get on the phone and talk to anybody about us or did it all come through bigger pockets and uh, were you uh, Googled us or wh whatever, whatever it was? How did, how did that work? We started off on bigger pockets and um, sort of got the lead from there and then did some good deep diving in there yeah. and tried to find, you know, where people had reported their experiences. And I think the one that actually really got my attention was somebody that had a complaint actually. And it was to see, cause we've seen other um, turnkey 
they're not that turnkey providers and people have said oh no it was awful or this happened and this happened we saw somebody that actually was the only complaint i've ever actually seen <laughs> with a property from Ario nation and it was just great chris was straight in that forum chatting to them finding out the problem how could it be resolved and everything like that whereas usually you see these problems and there's no one from the company to be seen and um, it was all resolved. The chat was over the moon with the solution. He went on to buy another property. He's still a client with you now, I believe. And this was like post going back three years. So it was nice to see that ongoing relationship and how things happen because mistakes happen. You know, and it's the same thing. What I would look for when, for a company isn't to see no mistakes. It's to see, well, what do you do when something does go wrong? you know it's the same way as how you know we do things with the kids it's like you know you make a mistake it happens what are you going to do to fix it well um, we're chasing we're chasing excellence all the time yeah we know we do 98 percent of the things very well because we've been told that we got a great team but those one or two percent of the things sometimes that happen we're coming mm -hmm. after them hard because we want to learn from that mistake so that we yeah. don't make it again and that's we always try to learn from a failure whenever we have one and we're not perfect. We aren't, but I think we're pretty, pretty good. And our reputation speaks for itself on all these forums. And, but back to my question, did you ever talk to anybody or was it just on just, no. just the stuff that you gathered just online? Kind of, just get gathered information online and um, kind of <laughs> earwigging other people's conversations mostly and, and joined this group as well. And to see people just kind of talking and interacting and how, yeah, just kind of like a fly on the wall, just how things um, went. But yeah, and um, sort of Google reviews as well. And what we did as well was uh, we looked at reviews for the property management company as well, because we wanted to see not just from the client investor's perspective, but from the tenant and resident's perspective. Sure. Because we sure. saw lots of reviews for other companies where the investors were really happy because they were making money. But like when you went in to check out like what the tenants thought of the property managers, it all, <laughs> there were some stories. <laughs> uh, I mean, and it, not what we wanted. It wasn't how we wanted to do things. It's very challenging uh, in property management, but we treat our residents the way we want to be treated. We don't call them tenants. We don't call them renters. We call them residents. And our average resident stays today about four years. And we try to have a maintenance call fixed within three or four hours of them calling it in. We have 24 seven maintenance on including weekends and holidays. So we try to make our residents uh, have a great experience like we do you so that they'll continue to stay on and rent the house. You heard me say a few minutes ago that we, uh, that we had, we signed 213 new leases last month on renewals. And when our residents have a great experience with us, they'll renew their lease and stay with us. So we're going to do over 2,000, 2,000 renewals this year on leases, which means that's 2,000 people that didn't move out and they stayed in our house and the house didn't go vacant. So we try to treat those residents. They're like gold. The, no, the most important job in our company is renting houses. Uh, it's not buying houses. It's not selling houses. It's renting houses. And all of our team understands that because if we don't rent houses, then you're not going to be happy. Our other clients are not going to be happy. So we understand that it's, it's the most important job and we work on that very hard every day. So do you have any question that you want to ask me today? <laughs> um, what's next? <laughs> How do you see it going for the future? More markets? Um... Well, we are looking at, I mentioned San Antonio a little while ago. We're uh, currently getting set up in Alabama. We are licensed in Florida where we have opportunities there if we want to. We are uh, licensed in uh, Mississippi and Tennessee, Arkansas, Missouri, Oklahoma, of course, Texas. So we have a lot of, there's a lot of other cities in Texas that we're not in. So the opportunity for us going forward is, is really good. We have excellent team, excellent management people that, that help us execute what we do to have uh, all of the rehabs and do all the buying that we do. And we're gonna do right about 800 houses, seven to 800 houses this year. So that's, that's, that's a big operation and it, it just takes a great group of people, which we have in all departments. We have, we have uh, right out a hundred people that work for us across our, all of our cities and they all do a great job and we're lucky to have all of them. They make us look really, really good by uh, keeping our reputation and our credibility up there. Good question. What else? <laughs> Ooh. Any, um, what's your favorite market? Well, uh, <laughs> 
we started here in Memphis and today we have probably about 3,500 houses in Memphis. Then we went to Dallas, the second market. And I think we probably close to 1500 over there. So our family was, uh, we, we were a uh, long time Texans there for 25 or 30 years and then moved to Tennessee. So I'm, I'm we, we have houses, we have properties in both cities. We, uh, the office that I'm calling you from today, we own this, this commercial building. We have, we just moved our Texas office into a new building out there in South Lake, Texas. Um, our investors, they, they, they like to be in all of our cities. They like to have some in, in every city. It seems like it, more and more what we're seeing. Um, Little Rock's a, a, a really hot market for us. Dallas is a hot market for us. Uh, St. Louis is doing very well. Uh, we put out a little teaser the other day on San Antonio that we were coming and threw up a picture of a house that we're working on there. And I think we had 10 to 15 people that right there when we put that house up said, Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. So we know that as we go into these other cities, I think we're going to attract a lot of interest. And uh, uh, so we're, so we're anxious to do, but we're, we're very calculated about what we do. We're, we don't jump off and do something without testing it and studying it a little bit. And, uh, we were, we were ready to go back in March pre COVID about with some other cities, like we're talking about now, but we pulled back with COVID. Now we're, we're kind of hopefully moving past it. It's not over certainly yet, but, uh, we're learning how to, we're learning how to deal with it as everybody is. And, uh, so we're, we, we have some pretty good plans for, for next year, but I want to ask you about something. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. So, so you went on the, on our site the other day and you put this picture of this box on there that we sent you in the mail, right? <laughs> so it was <super> exciting. <laughs> every one of our clients to get this gift box from us, uh, when they buy a property from us and it's got a few goodies in it. So, and then we, then we had some people on there asking, well, what's in the box, right? Secret so I, box thought, I thought I'd, I thought I'd show today cause we never have done this. And I thought I'd show here today what's in the box. So we always send uh, a picture of the property, uh, of your property, and, uh, and so you, we have a lot of our clients that hang it on the wall, put it somewhere. So you get a you get a picture of the property for however you wanted. To, did you get your picture? I did. Yeah. That's your picture. Okay. <laughs> then, there, then there's a little notebook here that our our clients love. They call us back every once in a while, want to know if they can get another one of these because evidently they're pretty good. Then you get. Uh, a couple little, you get some, a pen and some mints and this water bottle thing here. And then you get our, our magazine here that we do about two or three times a year. Did you get this? Yep. Yep. You had a chance I to look at it. pictures of, of all my people in there. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot, a lot of people in. We got a new one coming out sometime in the next two or three weeks. It should be coming out and, uh, uh, we'll get that out to everybody. And then, uh, let's see, there's this, well, let's see. We got some kind of shirt thing right here that's in there that everybody gets it gets one of these boxes. Did you get your shirt? Did yep, yep. Got that. And and then you know, all of my well, Chris and my oldest son Kent Jr. They have both written real estate books and about the real estate industry and the experiences. And they both have books out there. Kent. My oldest son lives in San Diego, and then of course Chris is here. So I told them about four or five years ago that I was going to write a new book. That, that they had written a book. I told them I was going to write a book. So we all—they all got about what I was going to do. I was going to write the book. So you know what book I'm talking about? I wrote this little kids' book right here. That I don't loved know. It. <laughs> what? My kids loved it. They liked it. So that's in the box when you get it. So there's been a—I uh, don't know how many of these things we've sent out over the years thousands and thousands of them go out. We don't sell them. We give them to schools and we give them to charities and we give them to children's hospitals and different things like that. But it's just a little 25 page book called uh, little foot learns a lesson. And uh, so hopefully you got that. Do you have children? I do. Yep. Yeah. And the oldest oh. one, Poppy, she's eight. Well, she's going to be eight next week. Um, yes. She read it to her little sister who's, <laughs> who's three. Well, that makes it all worthwhile right there. So Poppy heard her name. She's just appeared. <laughs> let's, let's meet her. We'd love to meet her. But down bit. There you go. Oh, hey there. Just and what's her name? <laughs> Poppy? Yeah. Yes. How are you doing today? 
Good. Do you, what grade are you in? Second. Second grade, and your mom was telling me in San Jose, right? Yep. Yeah. She said it's very cold out there today at 70 degrees is what she told me a little while ago. <laughs> so is that, is that cold out there in California when it's, when it's, at, when it's 70 degrees? She's just like, no, <laughs> just me. It's just me that's cold. Well, Poppy, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet your mom. So uh, listen, we'll wrap this up. And I just wanted to, again, thank you, uh, um, Alexis, for being on here with me today and talking a little bit about your real estate. I told you this was going to be easy. Okay, this is easy stuff. We look forward to meeting your husband, Sam. And uh, I just wanted to ask you on behalf of a Clothier family, whenever you'd like to come to Memphis and meet... Uh, Meet Taz and meet David and meet Jill and meet all these great people that we, we love to show, we love to like show to them off. We do definitely want to come and have a visit. So we sort of like find some, normally, you know, you go and visit and then you buy properties. But with, with COVID, we, we weren't able to travel. So we didn't want to, didn't want to wait. So we just started and we're like, well, we've got a few properties. We'll go over and um, see them. <laughs> well, you go on our group today, you'll see that we had some visitors. I think we've had a couple of visitors in the office this week. We always put their picture up there. Take a picture of them in the king chair in there when they're clients of ours. And uh, you'll see, I think we had some people, I think we had some visitors in this morning that their picture is up on the, on the Facebook group page today. So any final questions or thoughts that you had? Um, no, here's everything. I think it just wanted to say it was just, it was just such an easy experience. I think, um, yeah, I think I probably had like harder shopping experiences like in Target. <laughs> and this was sort of buying a property. It was just, <laughs> It was just so simple going from like one stage to the next. Um, no question was too silly. Everything just got done. It, there was no chasing, which like I know when we bought our house in the UK, it's just a constant stream of you chasing somebody to make sure something's being done or find out what's happening. And there was, I just felt like I didn't do anything. <laughs> just kind of, I was just there and it just happened. And then that we makes had me feel good because we go through a lot of training and we have a lot of processes and we, we tell our people to do a lot of listening to what you're looking for and what your needs are. We try to fulfill that for you and make it all work for your, for you and for us. And uh, we've been doing this for almost 18 years. We have a lot of clients that have been with us a long, long time and continue to have their properties. Today we have uh, and we hope to get you in the wow group at some time, which is five or more properties. Today we have about, Next year we'll be there. <laughs> we have about 380 customers in our wow group that own five or more. I think we have another 50 plus that own more than 10 houses. And I think our biggest investor owns about 33, 33 houses. So, uh, again, it's a pleasure having you on our calls, pleasure meeting you. Our family looks forward to having you down to Memphis or Dallas to meet our great team of people. And, uh, we thank you for letting us have the opportunity to serve you and take care of your properties for you. And uh, if we're worthy of a referral to one of your family or friends, we'd certainly appreciate it. And uh, again, it's been a pleasure talking to you today and you have a great day and uh, we'll talk again. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, young lady. Thank you very much. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.